Bangladesh government has signed an MOU with the Centre for the Power to All scheme, also passed a resolution where transformers have to be replaced within 24 to 48 hours, 24 hours for urban areas and 48 hours for rural areas. Uh, what would the impact of this be and is this even possible? Jitendra Mamtora, the chairman of Transformers and Rectifiers, joins us now uh, to give us his view on that. Uh, Mr. Mamtora, good morning. Um, you know, there is a big power push that's happening in Uttar Pradesh, but do you think these kind of uh, tall claims are something that's feasible for the sector? See, I think, you know, it is misconstrued. Uh, what they want to say is mm. replacements, uh, there are a lot of failures which occurs uh, in these transformers, in the small transformers which are meant mainly for the agricultural load. Mm. Uh, and uh, these are, it takes time to replace those transformers because it is to be demounted from the pole mm -hmm. and then bring in a new transformer and put it on that. Mm. But if you plan properly, mm. it is possible to change within... Uh, 24 hours or 48 hours, whatever they mm. Okay. Well, Mr. Mamthura, uh, you've seen an outstanding nine-month performance uh, uh, as well. Your third quarter revenues uh, up 50% uh, plus. Uh, how is the power uh, uh, transformer demand looking ahead? Are states really giving that power push? Has it meant more demand for transformers? See, it is uh, uh, the demand for the transformer will basically come from uh, the end users or I would say uh, the consumption of the electricity. Okay. See, the, and uh, the, unfortunately what had happened in the past that power prices have been uh, very high mm. and they were going up and up uh, because of which uh, the industries which consume more power were uh, subdued. You know, they were not doing well, especially you see that uh, uh, the uh, steel strike sector where, uh, you know, the market, the, the, there was a competition, strong competition from China. But as uh, as you see that, you know, with the transmission line uh, in its place, uh, the trans uh, transmission of power from one end to the other end or the surplus uh, uh, power uh, states where they have the surplus power, it is easier to transmit that power to the states where, uh, you know, they, they have shortage of power. Mm -hmm. So that, that will... Uh, it uh, increased the load factor of the generation, and the load uh, when the, the load factor of the generation in, increases, uh, the the incremental uh, rise in the uh, the uh, fuel consumption is not that extent. So you know if you increase your uh, load factor from say 50 percent to 80 percent, mm. the incremental increase in the uh, fuel will be only 10 percent okay so oh. that will also reduce their running no, costs. so i'm but asking you <laughs> sir i'm asking you on the ground is there more demand for transformers yeah yeah that is what i'm saying so okay. uh, and then that is what has started happening okay uh, the transmission factor you see the boost mm. uh, uh, all the uh, power grid jobs and power grids have done a lot of work in the last uh, the last uh, uh, three to five years. Okay. And now, you know, the state utilities or the state transmission companies have to take it forward because mm. they have to, uh, you know, uh, evacuate the power from the HT line. Okay. And that will so, also generate this. So, yeah. Mr. Mamtora, you started by saying that, you know, it's possible to replace these faulty transformers if it's planned well. Uh, what is the percentage of faulty transformers in Uttar Pradesh? I'm just trying to understand that yeah. from this promise, what kind of demand can be generated for companies like yours? See, we, we are not into that uh, okay. uh, oh. distribution or REC range of transformers. Okay. Uh, okay. And the failure rate of this transformer is very high, mm. uh, in not only in Uttar Pradesh, but in you know, most of the states. Mm. You'll see that, you know, 30 to 35 percent failure rate in the distribution transformer of REC range takes place because there are no protections provided. There are no, uh, you know, regulation on or, you know, the control on the, the, the connected load. So, you know, the transformer fails. It does not mean that, you know, the transformers are manufactured bad. They are okay. But, you know, because of uh, the malpractices which are okay. uh, happening, mm. uh, you know, the transformer fails. What are the main sources of orders for you? Sorry? The main sources, the main clients uh, who See, give you the orders? The main client for us is uh, the transmission companies mm -hmm. and uh, the steel sector mm -hmm. uh, and the private industry as well. And now uh, the solar at the wind. Okay. Solar is, uh, the, the, we are doing good in solar. 
and now export also has increased uh, as compared to the past years. So oh, state governments and their electricity units are not your uh, clients? Uh, no, the distribution companies are generally not our clients. All right. Okay, Mr. Mamtura, thank you for stopping by and uh, explaining that to us.